Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome to my channel if you're new. I'd like to thank everyone for viewing, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please don't forget the thumbs up on your way out if you like the reading as it really does help my channel, but it also helps all the others that need to see the messages within these moon readings, okay? So thank you. I want to remind everyone it is still a general reading. It's going to resonate completely for some of you, but not all of you. So those of you that it doesn't completely resonate for, take what does resonate. Those bits and pieces are yours. Leave the rest behind, okay? Um, now I want to remind you that the moon readings, you, you should be using your rising sign for the moon reading. Now the only way to get that is to have a birth chart done. You can have that done free of charge at, um, well there is a link down below, okay, in my description box. It's either Astrology Cafe or Cafe Astrology, I can never remember the way it goes, but the link is down below. Um, you're going to need your birth time to get your rising sign, okay, so if you don't have that, then go with your sun sign for the moon reading, not your moon sign, your sun sign, okay. Also, um, this new moon is in Cancer. It's on July 9th, and depending on where you're living, July 10th. I had to pause the camera for a minute because I just realized I hadn't plugged my mic in yet, so I will adjust the volume. Hopefully it, um, it is legible for you once I get it adjusted. Anyways, like I was saying, July 10th, July 9th, depending on where you're living, okay? Now, after last month's slightly weird new moon eclipse in Gemini, you're going to be very pleased to hear that this new moon in Cancer is going to be a bit more rational and orderly. For one thing, this time around, the new moon is making a harmonious link to the planet Neptune, which is the planet of dreams and soulmates. So this is definitely a gift from the heavens, for sure. And if you want to really tap into this lunation, meditate your way through it, okay? Now, Cancer may have a bit of a reputation for being a little bit moody or crabby, but it is also the sign of the home and the family. And, right, <laughs> there can be crabbiness and moodiness in our homes. So, we're going to cut you some slack. So if you have intentions that you want to send out to the universe about your home and or your family life, this is the new moon to make your wishes and commitments, okay? Also know that the first alignment after the new moon is a rather beautiful one between Venus and Mars. And so what that means is if there are strained relationships between you and a member of the opposite sex, now is the time to put a smoother relationship with an ex on your wish list, okay? And remember that at least half the reason why new moon wishes work is because they're about intention setting. So try to avoid the habit of just simply jotting down your wishes and thinking that's enough to make them come true. Instead, take your number one new moon wish for the month and turn it into an affirmation. In other words, Write it down as if it's already real. Then feel it as real as you say it out loud with gusto and passion. That's how you make your wishes come true. So I am going to get into the Moonology cards now for this new moon and we'll see where we stand with those. Okay, here are the Moonology cards for this new moon. And obviously this one, <laughs> New moon. New moons are always about new beginnings, new starts. If you're wanting to start a new business or a new project, anything you're wanting to start that's new, you want to do it three to four days after a new moon. So the other one we have here is the new moon in Cancer. So you and your loved ones are safe. That's always good to know. Okay, so we're going to put these, I think, just right over there. So now I'm going to head into doing the actual spread, the reading. Okay, Leo, it's your turn for your 
uh, you specific reading for this new moon in Cancer, July 9th or 10th, depending on where you're living. This new moon sits in your 12th house. So what that means for you is that you're going to be in a slightly strange cycle and you will feel it. This month, the new moon is going to take place in that part of your chart where you keep all matters hidden and spiritual. This is going to be about um, you wanting to keep things hidden and I don't think you're going to be able to, but it can be a time when you also really want to withdraw from the world or if you're on a spiritual path you might want to take time out from the madness to just meditate and you need to know that the universe is going to deliver the messages that you need to hear at this point in time so meditation is a really good plan for you especially if you're going through a time where it's just really strange and really out there you will be guided Okay, so now let's get into the regular reading part for you. We're going to start out by getting some Queen of the Moon Oracle cards. All the decks are listed below as usual, as well as um, the link to this extended video, okay? It's going to be down below. To get to it, Click on the title of this video. It'll drop down my description box. That's where you'll see the link to my website, which is where the extended videos are, and the list of the decks. So, first card out. Nice. Gratitude. Card 23 breaks down to a 5. It's all about change. You've got some change coming here. This is the last quarter moon, and... As we move forward here, we will get the timing of all of these cards. Wow, card 41 breaks down to a 5 again. So now you've got 5-5. Five, five. That's big changes. Queen of the Moon herself. Sovereignty. Ooh, this is big. Big, big, big. Huge growth. Huge changes, Leo. And now you've got card number three, which again is about growth and evolution. Waxing Crescent One, realization. You are about to come to some kind of a realization here. And it's going to open up a doorway. It's going to be key in you stepping through to a new... Uh, the word that's in my head is realm, but new, new world, new life. And the unexpected, that's not a surprise. Card 43, which breaks down to a 7. This is divinely guided. Number 7 is a very divine number. It's divine guidance, divine intervention, divine timing. Right? And this is the blue moon. So, wow, very interesting. You have, you have a lot to be grateful for. And you will have, I think, it feels to me like you're going to have a lot more to be grateful for. We're going to get the timing on these cards for you. And then we're going to get more cards to give us the information as to kind of what is going on here. What's taking place for you. Okay, so let's get to the timing here. The last quarter moon is the 31st of July. Um, you know what? Here, let's see. The Queen of the Moon, she doesn't have a timing. I'm going to put her last because she's a big one. She's a really big one. The Waxing Crescent One, your realization card, that is July 11th. So that's like right around this new moon. And look at it. It's, it's even showing that. But that is so perfectly depicted here. And you're leaving the darkness and moving toward the sun, which is happiness and bright light. Okay, so that's around July 11th. Now I said the last quarter is July 31st, and that's the gratitude, right? And then you have the unexpected card. This is the blue moon, and it is August 22nd. So this is staying, not, you know, I think there's only one other zodiac reading that I've ever done since I started doing these moon readings where it stayed within 
the new moon, the four week new moon timeline. And that's this time. Wow. Okay, so let's get some hiero. Uh, <laughs> this this really work. I, I can't believe how perfect all of this is for this timing because this moon for you, right? It's it's about a strange cycle for you. And it's taking place in your 12th house. So this is all about, like, like I said earlier, this is all about uh, hidden matters and spiritual matters. And look at this. You've got a realization here that's going to take you from the dark into the light and to happiness. Gratitude. The unexpected. This is all about things happening out of the blue, things that are being divinely guided to you. This is the universe delivering messages to you that you need to hear. And it's making you extremely strong. So now what I want to do is I want to get some um, Lightseer's cards, the, the uh, holographic deck, and just see what this is all about here. Okay, your first card out and sitting on top of the realization card and the gratitude card. Ace of Pentacles. Look at the roots. They're way longer, way bigger than the growth at the top here. And what this is all about for you is getting grounded, getting rooted. Because once, with plants, once the roots have matured and grown and really take hold, that's when all the energy goes up to the surface to push the plant up through the dirt, right? And then it really starts to grow and mature and, and prosper. That's where you're at. You've got the rooting here, the grounding. Now you're going to start seeing some growth. And that's on the realization and the gratitude. So you are going to see good things coming your way and you are going to feel gratification toward that. And Spirit is wanting you to be in that attitude of gratitude because that's just going to bring more of your manifestations home, so to speak, right? Be in the receiving mode. And now on top of gratitude and the unexpected, you've got the King of Swords. This could be your person, male or female. It's just the energy of the King of Swords. This guy, to me, he's always at the ready. When he's balanced, he's at the ready. This is somebody who's never late for an appointment. He's always early, in fact. He's, he's suited up and ready for battle. Not that he's ready for battle, but you know what I mean? You get the gist of it, right? He's just always right there and willing to take on whatever comes his way. And that's what Spirit's asking you to do here because this sits on the gratitude and the unexpected. So something is coming in that you're not expecting and it, it could throw you for a bit of a loop to begin with. But with the sovereignty card sitting here, it's not going to be a bad thing. It might come in looking like a bad thing, but it's going out a good thing. Because that Sovereignty card, um, that Sovereignty card, that is, that's supreme power and authority. That is, is like, that's, <laughs> I would say that even sits higher than the Emperor in the regular decks. Right? So, and all of this is going to take place 
between, like I said, I think I said this earlier, between July 11th and August 22nd. A little over a month. Wow. Ace of Cups. This sits on top of the unexpected and the sovereignty card. So what's unexpected here? You have a new love coming in, a new attraction. It could be, you know, a, a renewal of a current love or relationship. But whatever it is, it takes you to the highest heights possible because that sovereignty card, that's what it talks about. Extreme heights and power and very spiritually, um, it's a very spiritual side. Okay. Now we're going to get some Gaia Oracle cards. But whatever it is, definitely a new beginning. And a strong one that's grounded and stable and solid. Now in the Ace of Pentacles and the King of Swords, you have card 35 breaks down to an 8. Lost love, surrender, healing, release. 8, uh, 35 breaks down to an 8. That's all about your abundance. It could be in any area. It could be finances. It could be love. It could be happiness. could be all. So I feel like some of you have lost someone in love. And maybe you're holding on to that and you need to let it go. Because it's around this new beginning and the energy of being ready for anything. And that's connected to the unexpected, gratitude, and the Ace of Pentacles, the new beginning is connected to the realization. going to be different for all of you, right? And then you have card number three, which is all about your growth, your evolution, harmony, power, self-confidence, and productivity. And I apologize, my stomach is growling as usual, if you can hear it. So this sits on top of the King of Swords and the Ace of Cups. And sits right below the unexpected card. So what's unexpected is whatever this, the, whatever this is that's unexpected that you need to be ready for and it's in love. I think the unexpected is that it is harmonious. But you've also got the word power in here. And you've got that same word with the sovereignty card. It's all about supreme power and authority. This could be in business. You know, this could be a new beginning in a business. Something that you love or will love. And the unexpected is that it's, it's successful. It's working. It's balanced. It's, har it's a harmonious and productive business. Maybe the lost love is um, letting go of your previous career or job or, or, you know, something in a business if you already have a business that it just needs to change. You need to let go of something so you can move forward with something new and different. You have to leave comments because this could go in so many different directions here. And we are going to get an Island Time Wellness card. This might clarify a little bit for us here. Spirit lately has been waiting till we get right down to the very bottom end here to make it clear that 
this is, oh, oops, these are from a previous reading, that this is um, a love or other situation. And you have the chaser. Chaser in codependent relationship. Fear of abandonment issue. Somebody has codependent issues and, f and or fear of abandonment. And this makes sense because it's sitting on top of the lost love and harmony. Healing is a part of this lost love. So... Um, for those of you that this is a love partnership or a romantic partnership that's come to an end or is coming to an end, I'm not telling you to bring it to an end and neither is spirit, okay? This is one of those things where you already know that this is coming to an end or that it needs to or it already has, okay? And what this is telling me here is this needs to be healed. Before there can be harmony in, in any relationship, whether this one, you know, comes back around for a second chance or not, it's something brand new. This codependency and abandonment issues, that needs to be healed before you can have a healthy relationship with anyone. Okay, now we're going to get a Synchronicity Oracle card. See the bigger picture. When I created this deck, I'd been seeing a bunch of different numbers quite frequently, and 1212 was one of them. And so I asked my guides what all these numbers meant, and they gave it to me. And as they gave it to me, I wrote it down and I put it on cards because I thought if I need to know what these numbers mean, if I keep seeing them, others are seeing them too. So if you start seeing 1212 from this point forward, or have been, it means see the bigger picture. And what that means, I saw this yesterday and I thought that's a perfect way to explain this to people. Seeing the bigger picture means instead of focusing relentlessly and worrying about and trying to fix that little anthill that's in front of you, focus on the big mountain that's miles down the road. Because when we focus on something much bigger down the road, everything in between us and that bigger thing take care of itself because we're focused on getting there, everything else is just gonna you know, move out of the way. It's gonna, it's gonna work out on its own. Mainly what I mean by that is spirit's gonna take care of it. The universe is gonna take care of those things. Focus on the good and what you want in life. Okay, now we're gonna get a Just Ask Oracle card. What this is saying, Spirit wants me to put this across. This is asking you to not focus on this situation here. See past it. See the bigger picture. You've got the sovereignty card here. You've got the unexpected. You've got the realization. You've got the ace of cups. So see past the negative here to what's coming, the good that's coming from this. Because whatever direction you're headed in, you're headed towards your twin, your twin flame, your eternal soulmate. That's this Ace of Cups here. But this needed to be healed before your twin and you could ever come together. Twin flames cannot come together in a situation of codependency or um, abandonment, people with ab abandonment issues. And I'm not saying that's you, that could be your person. Maybe this is somebody from the past that's coming back around. Maybe that was the situation then, I don't know. It's gonna be different for all of you, right? Okay, what are we getting now? Whispers of love, okay. 
So it could be that a current relationship is coming to an end so that you can be moved toward your, your twin flame. And the reason you had to be with this person that you're with now that is ending is to learn this lesson here. Now you're seeing the bigger picture. You can move toward your twin flame. Those of you that are in a relationship that you're moving back toward, the reason it went through whatever turmoil it went through, again, was to heal this. Wow. <laughs> this looks like a, a man proposing to a woman. Card 47 breaks down to 11, which is a soul path number. This is your destiny that you're headed for, Leo. Physical touch, a tender touch can mean so much. Yes, actions speak so much louder than words. Always. And there's magic here. Look at the sparklies around her arm when he kisses her. That's the energy that he gives her. That's what he passes on. That's how he makes her feel. That's because they are eternal soulmates. You feel it with this person. That's what this is telling me. You know that's who they are because it feels that amazing with them, whoever this is. And that's how you'll know who we're talking about here. I want to ask your guides and spirit what it is that you need to do be, think, and or feel to move through this, all of this that's going on over the next month and get to this place of coming together with your twin flame. How to heal this, how to complete this, how to move through it all. We're going to do that in the extended. The link is down below. Click on the title, drop down this description box. The link to the extended on my website is down there. All the decks are listed down there as well. Those of you that are going over, I will see you over there. Those of you that are not, I love you guys, and I will see you next time.